Hey guys, welcome back to Andy's Dinosaur Reviews, and we have something incredibly cool to take a look at today, as this is the second time ever we've had the pleasure of reviewing some clinch art models here on the channel. I not long ago reviewed a really cool, kind of a Jurassic Park-inspired Tyrannosaurus Rex from Clinch Art, but this time we actually have some really cool Allosaurus figures, and you can see that this time around we actually have two, and I kind of took them as a mating pair. So I tried to paint one up more like a male, one up more like a female, those still having very similar coloration. And I'm pretty happy with the results. I didn't go like crazy as far as the paint scheme goes. I kept it kind of simplistic, but, you know, naturalistic, or at least I think that's the way it looks to me anyway. And uh, I was pretty happy with the results, but again, as per usual, when it comes to clinch art models, that's probably because the sculpts are just so darn good. And what's really cool about this, and it's something that's probably going to have to wait until I actually glue them on to really show you guys, I feel like this kind of shows off a really neat scene of two Allosaurus. One almost looks like an enraged Allosaurus, the other one kind of looks like a confused or almost... Uh, curious type of an allosaurus because the one on the right which obviously is being held up currently with a stand because it's on one foot and has to be glued to the base is like running after something it looks like it's either angry or caught you know sight of some prey or something the one on the left looks like it was kind of walking the opposite way of this allosaurus and now notices that that allosaurus is kind of running after something and now it's just turned its head to kind of look it could create one really cool diorama i think when it comes to the two of these allosaurus figures but regardless i think i've rambled on enough about them already so let's jump to a closer look so i could show you how beautiful these allosaurus are so this is the Allosaurus that I feel like has straight up noticed that there is some sort of food source or maybe a different Allosaurus that's not part of its group that it's just noticed or some other um, type of a predator or something that obviously has enraged this Allosaurus and it is now heading straight for it. You can see the mouth is sculpted in an open position so it sort of looks like it's letting out a vocalization and almost looks determined like it looks like it is legitimately angered by something which I really like so it obviously is like running in you can see one foot is up off the ground one foot is planted so it clearly is moving and definitely moving at a pretty nice rate but you can see as far as the actual head sculpt goes if my camera would focus on it you could see anyway it looks really nice as far as the fine detail the skin texture and everything here looks great on the face you've got those classic allosaurus crests right here which look really nice and definitely very nice area to paint out this is the one that i kind of kept as more of like a male because i sort of gave it like a reddish brown type of a coloration put a little red there in the crest and everything to sort of insinuate the male more so than the female and you'll obviously see the color difference once we bring the female up. But you can see the tongue is sticking up there on the inside of the mouth. All of the teeth are sculpted really, really nicely. Very small teeth, but they look beautiful. And again, all of the detailing here of the head looks really good. As you move along here to the top of the head, you start to see kind of like some osteoderms and stuff running along the back of the Allosaurus. They start right here on the top of the head. Run down through the course of the neck. You can see some really nice kind of skin wrinkles and skin texture and stuff as you lead down the neck you've got some more nice skin wrinkles and stuff here for the underside of the throat of the allosaurus you can see the shoulder blade there kind of protruding from the skin as well as some really nice muscle definition the elbow as well is present right there but that muscle definition looks very very good definitely looks like a strong animal you can see the fingers as well are sculpted beautifully here on the hands really nicely sculpted out nails as well and they genuinely look sharp so they help to give it an incredibly realistic and lifelike look as you continue to run along the back of the Allosaurus, not only do you see really nice skin texture, but you again see rows of those osteoderms running through the course of the Allosaurus, running down the spinal column, as well as some rows of them running on each side of that spinal column. And you can see that the skin texture in the stomach region as well looks really beautiful. Very nice, very vibrant as far as the detail goes. You can also see that it is completely filled with fantastic sculpt and detail here on the underside in the stomach region of the Allosaurus. You've also got the hip bone nicely elaborated right there as well as some more really nice muscle definition leading down the thigh the kneecap as well as nicely highlighted in the sculpt same deal for the calf muscle and since the allosaurus is pretty much bearing all of its weight right now on this one foot you can really see how big and bulging that calf muscle is which is a really nice touch as you lead down the foot sculpt of the allosaurus you can again see that it's filled with some nice scoots running down the toes 
and the toes themselves look great. The nails as well look very nice as far as the sculpting goes. And yet again, they have that genuine sharp look, which is also a huge plus. You can see that there are dew claws as well. And then as you lead up here into the tail, again, some more really nice skin texture. As you lead out the length of the tail, you can see a nice curve, but it's not a drastic curve. It's just a really slight curve. As you lead out toward the tip of the tail, you have more of those osteoderms and stuff that lead out, but they start to taper off, and then they're gone completely at this point as we lead out the length of the tail. You can see that the Allosaurus does have its head slightly turned to its left, and I think he's portrayed that nicely in the sculpt with the skin kind of stretching. Again, more wrinkling that also shows off the turn in the neck and the throat region really quite nicely. The arms are slightly in the same position as far as the area where they lead down from the body but you can see that the hands are in a different position from each other but yet again the fingers look really good again more really nice muscle definition in the arm you can see less of the stomach over here because this leg is lifting up so far as it's taking a pretty good stride you can see that leg is in mid stride and it's obviously obscuring the stomach a little bit here on this side but the skin texture and everything looks really good over here you can also see how the skin is stretching off of the tail there with that leg taking such a nice stride again the muscle definition is nicely flexed because the leg is kind of pushing into the thigh which would be pushing out the calf muscle and the muscle definition in the thigh is also looking pretty good again nice kneecap and then you have the foot i really love the curvatures in the toes as the foot is picking up off of the ground i think he's highlighted that appearance to the dinosaur really nicely really naturally there with the positioning of the foot and toes and then as you lead out the length of the tail you can again see the really nice very subtle but slight curve that looks really beautiful and elegant and again really nice detailing here on the underside to the allosaurus as well but then once we bring up the female you can definitely see again as far as my paintwork goes that i gave this one a lighter tone more of like a light tannish brown as far as the coloration goes a little less color in the face slightly different stripe leading down from the eye no red or anything in the face really or up in the crest so i tried to make this one look a little more female than the male and again, this is just the way I interpret them. I'm not saying that they absolutely have to be male and female. That's really up to you. But I kind of took them as a male and female. But again, on this one, you can see that the head sculpt looks great, but the mouth is only slightly open. However, you can still see the teeth. They're very small, but they look incredible as far as the sculpt goes. I love the positioning of this one where the mouth is just slightly open. It looks really neat. But you can also see that how this one looks like it was just kind of walking around and all of a sudden is trying to make a quick turn around because it sees that the other allosaurus is kind of running by and it's like what's going on back here that's sort of the takeaway that i have of the positioning of this allosaurus as well as again the positioning of the face and the way it appears you can see the nostrils are also sculpted very nicely and again the crests and everything the skin texture everything looks great here on the face as you lead back into the neck of this allosaurus we again have the same type of look where we have those osteoderms running down the course of the body we really can see the skin stretching and bending again with the positioning of the neck it has a very sharp turn to this one compared to the original allosaurus that we just had taken a look at but all of the skin texture continues to look really nice and i think he's shown off that stretching of the neck very nicely as you lead down you again have the really nice muscle definition in the arm you can again pick up on the shoulder blade there really nicely sculpted sculpted out fingers yet again nicely sculpted nails just like we saw on the other allosaurus you have more skin wrinkles pretty much all over the place here in the lower part of the stomach but you can again see more really nice skin texture as you lead up here into the side of the stomach toward the spinal column of our allosaurus you can see that this leg is lifting up off of the ground it's actually planted on a rock like a rocky formation and it's got its foot planted there this foot as well as planted down on the ground it's just kind of taking a step up and uh, you can see that as well as really nicely sculpted you can see that the muscle definition on this one is as well as beautifully highlighted in the sculpt you've got the leg kind of stretching the skin there off of the tail yet again a really nice foot sculpt with more of those scoots down the toes again the nails look great you yet again have the dew claw and everything present right there and as we move back here into the tail you can see the tail has an extremely extremely sharp turn to it also showing off that turning aspect to the allosaurus as again something has definitely caught its attention and it's quickly spinning around and i think they've shown that off 
really nicely in the sculpt as well. A beautiful, very elegant looking curve to the tail of this Allosaurus. Over here, you can again see that same deal. Nice creasing in the skin, nice skin texture as you lead along in the curve of the tail. Again, the osteoderms and stuff running up along the back. You've got some nice wrinkling and creasing right there in front of the thigh. Again, the muscle definition leading down the leg here looks really good. And again, the foot sculpt over here as well looks beautiful. And then we lead up here into the stomach region. You can see more skin wrinkles increasing and all kinds of movement shown there in the skin of the Allosaurus as well as more really nice texturing to the stomach region you've got the shoulder blade as well you can see the arm is back a little further on this side which i also think helps to show that kind of turn and that almost surprised or curious appearance to the allosaurus and again the really nice curve in the neck here and a gorgeous head sculpt over here yet again really nice detailing here on the underside of this one as well so two beautiful allosaurus sculpts and then the bases are basically just kind of like a really nice earthy area almost like a cracked kind of an old dried up muddy area and then you have like a little rocky formation here that the allosaurus was taking a step up on this is the one that's kind of turning around and the way that the base looks for this one and then as far as the other one, we have kind of a more flatter, sort of, again, the earthy area, which looks really good. Lots of cracks and stuff. This is a really fun base to paint because there's so much detail added into it. You can see all sorts of little stones and stuff. And a kind of rocky formation right here. And you also have the footprint for the Allosaurus to show you where you would want to put your Allosaurus. But I'm actually psyched to get these glued up on the base because... I was waiting until I reviewed them to do that, so I really want to see the entire scene complete now with them actually on their bases permanently. So let me get them glued on there, and we'll take a look at them from there. So here they are now glued on their bases, and I feel like this is the positioning that works best for the two Allosaurus figures, because you can see how the one Allosaurus is kind of enraged, and it's clearly running after something in attack mode, and the other Allosaurus looks like maybe it was taking a step up onto that rock formation, saw that the... First Allosaurus was kind of going crazy and heading off towards something and it's just spun around to get a look at what's back there behind it. That's my takeaway from this. You can take away whatever you like, but that's personally how I feel about it and how I feel about the pose and everything. And basically the scene that is portrayed before us here, which I really like the fact that there is an actual scene that he is portrayed with these models. But as far as a size goes, let's go ahead and get a measurement on these Allosaurus. So for the one that's kind of running, you are looking at a little bit over six inches or almost almost exactly six inches or a hair over or about the 15 and a half centimeter area. And then for a height, you're looking at about two and three quarter inches or a little shy of seven centimeters. Then for the turning version, or in my words, the female, you are looking at about, I would say... A little over three and a half, maybe closing in on three and three quarters, but not quite, or around nine centimeters for a height. And then for a length with the curved tail and everything, it's not going to have too much of a length. You're looking at about, I'd say about three and a half inches or nine centimeters for a size comparison. There is Mr. Papo T-Rex, the Attack Pack Colovasaurus, and Robert Muldoon from the Mattel Jurassic World toy line next to our Clinch Art Allosaurus models. And you can definitely see next to these figures that they are quite small, although the original T-Rex that I had reviewed from Clinch Art was pretty small itself. So you would kind of expect them to be a little on the smaller side because they're pretty much like that perfect kind of desktop model, which I think is exactly what Clinch Art goes for. So I feel like the size is exactly as you should expect from a Clinch Art model, but also just generally two really cool Allosaurus, super highly detailed Allosaurus models at a very nice convenient size. And then when it comes to a comparison with the Clinch Art Tyrannosaurus Rex, you can see again what the size is here between the Tyrannosaurus and the Allosaurus. Obviously, the T-Rex is bigger than the Allosaurus, and you would expect that to be the case, but they definitely look really cool together, and judging by the looks of it, I seem to like brown when it comes to my Clinch Art models, because both the Rex and the Allosaurus have quite a bit of brown on them, so... I guess next time around, the next Clinch art model that I paint and review, we'll have to get a little more colorful with, but you can definitely see again how they look together. They definitely look awesome, and this further shows you that the Clinch art models line sports some incredibly beautiful models. And then for a few more random comparisons, we have a Mattel Bendy Biters, a Mattel minifigure, a Takara Tomy Giganotosaurus, and a Toy Monster International Captives Dimetrodon. 
kind of burying our Allosaurus models here, but you can definitely see that they aren't super huge, and I would say similarly in size to Takara Tomy, but definitely a little bit bigger than what you would get than your average Takara Tomy. The Giganotosaurus here from Takara Tomy is actually a little bit bigger than the usual Takara Tomy figures are, but you can definitely see that they're not too far off when it comes to a size. And then for a few randoms, we have the Schleich Diabloceratops and the Collecte Dimetrodon here next to our Allosaurus models, two figures that are definitely popular from those brands. But for two final comparisons, we've also got ourselves a Mattel Dilophosaurus and a Safari LTDU Tyrannus here. Just to give you that final comparison and hopefully you will have had at least one of these figures to compare them with. So these Clinch Art Allosaurus models are definitely two really beautiful interpretations of Allosaurus. Something that I'm really excited to have in my collection because I am a massive fan of of Allosaurus. I have been since I can remember. I've always enjoyed this dinosaur just because it's like the big ferocious theropod from the Jurassic. You can't help but love Allosaurus, but also just because Allosaurus genuinely looks like a really cool species of dinosaur. So there's just something about Allosaurus that has always been so magical to me and something I've always loved about that species. And I feel like Clinch Art really has brought that out in both of these models because on top of just generally being two really beautiful versions of Allosaurus, I love the pose. I love the scene that he's portrayed here with them. Both have kind of like dynamic poses as one is kind of turning around looking again a little bit curious, but at the same time ready to go if there's something on the outskirts of their area that wants a confrontation but you can also see that the other one has a really cool dynamic again running pose it looks like it's angry it looks kind of enraged and the two together just create one insanely cool diorama and on top of that both Allosaurus models are super highly detailed showing off every ounce of skin texture skin detail movement in the skin that you would expect to see when it comes to the positions of their body they've captured all the details you would want on an Allosaurus quite beautifully the sculpts are incredibly vibrant again really high quality as far as the sculpts themselves and the fine detail goes and they also have those really fun bases on top of everything that help to add just a little bit extra to your Allosaurus models. So if you are interested in grabbing yourself the files to print yourself some of these incredible Allosaurus models, I will include a link in the description to where you can check out Clinch Art on Facebook, and actually I will include a link in the description to their link tree where you can check out their Discord servers and everything basically going on with clinch art and again make sure you grab some of their models you will absolutely not regret it because this is my second model of theirs now with the t-rex first and the allosaurus now and everything so far has been just as gorgeous as it gets so make sure you check out all of the accounts of clinch art grab yourself some of their beautiful dinosaurs and like comment and subscribe and i will see you in the next review thanks for watching